right? Um, obviously, they both got a, 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 a they're both over. But what exactly is going to happen with these two? Is Braun going to end up running away with this title at the end? Or is Jay? Uh, Iceberg, what you think about that? Yeah, so I think um, I, I, I think that uh, Braun is going to beat Jay Uso for the belt. And because Jay Uso is going to do a run with uh, the bloodline. And I only say this because he showed up on the show. And, 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 you know, I think that uh, Jacob is going to run interference and cost Jey Uso the belt. And I think uh, uh, Jacob and, 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 and Jay are going to have a fucking, uh, uh, have, have a program together. And, and, uh, and Braun's going to have the title. Mm, interesting. interesting. That's, the, that's, that's my take on it. JT, what do you think about that? I was honestly going to say the same exact thing. Really? That's, that's <laughs> what I was. That's what I was thinking about. I'm gonna. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna say Jay keeps the title, but he gets attacked after the match by uh, by Jacob, and then that sets up a program between the two, and then Jacob takes the title off of off of Jay and brings it to SmackDown and adds more to the new bloodline. Okay. I can see that. Okay, but then what happens with the U.S. title? There, I guess they're going to have two titles. <laughs> no, I think um, it's interesting. I don't know. Who, who's Just got the, the U.S. title? Uh, uh, L.A. Knight? Could oh, be wrong. But why'd you throw that in there? I thought we were talking about the Intercontinental, right? That's Is what it Jay the U.S. title on 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 SmackDown. Oh, I don't know. So if 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 Jacob were to take the title off Jay on Raw and take it back to SmackDown, oh yeah, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he'll that switch that, between two that shows might or be a they'll more just... outlandish. But then again, there's the draft, so maybe they'll do that, and then a few weeks later, just. Rip LA night over. I think that the bloodline um, is such a big storyline that it doesn't even touch SmackDown and 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 or 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 it's like bigger than SmackDown or Raw. And, and that's another thing that when we were talking about the weekly woes and the highs and the changes, that's something we've seen a lot more of since Triple H took over. Is uh, we're going wherever the fuck we need to go. Yeah. Uh, what's stopping yeah. me from walking into SmackDown? Yeah, Absolutely yeah, nothing. I just don't because nothing is there for me. But if there is, I, I like you know. that. I like it. You know, yeah, you're right. That's a point we didn't bring up, and and it, and that has been happening a lot. Yeah. So, and my thing is, 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 is I think that um, Braun Breaker deserves to have that title. Um, I know he had it right, and then Jay took it mm -hmm. right, and then now it's you know it's back to this. So. I think they're giving it back to Braun. I think Jay will run a quick one with because because listen, he wouldn't have went down to the ring. I mean, he stayed out of it this whole time, right? Right. He and, wouldn't have went down to that ring and then told fucking Jacob to shut the fuck up, right? right like, don't want right. you looking at me like that. Right. Yeah, he I made mean, a come point on. of telling him I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah, so I could totally see and and to uh you know just point. Yeah, I could see him maybe coming after the match, right? But I think Uso drops the belt to Braun and let's, you know, because Uso and Jacob, that's going to sell tickets with no belt. That's right. going to that's gonna bring in the, you know what I mean? Right. Braun, I think, needs the belt. I mean, he doesn't need it. He's good. I, I don't hate on him. I like him. But I it love the definitely stylish. benefits him yeah. a lot more separate versus keeping the belt hostage for the storyline is going to sell anyway. So now you get two sales yes. instead of one. No. Um, so I, I definitely think Jay's going to drop it. Uh, I just don't know. Like, is that like a permanent thing? Is this, is this the end of main event Jay Uso? 
No, I, I I don't I don't think it has to be. I think especially if he beats Jacob, you don't think that'd be Ooh. a huge push for him to beat Jacob. Ooh. And then now you could almost throw Jay into maybe a title run, a title defense, a title shot. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe he moves from Intercontinental and you you know let him beat Jacob, the fucking werewolf, and then and, and now then, he's strong enough to beat Gunther. Now he's yeah. Now he go Gunther, um, uh, Seth Rollins, shit, even Cody. Once they do the draft, mm, I don't see him being Cody. Eventually, especially since they're both faces too. But and he's not bigger than Cody. Uh, but he's not but bigger than Cody. Definitely going going back to Raw and yeah. like and Gunther being like, oh yeah, you think you're hot shit because you fucking beat. Jacob Fatu, I'm not Jacob Fatu, uh, fuck your ass up type shit. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. And and, and he fucking steals it. Woo! That'd be nutty. But now do you kill Jacob if you have this dude? That was my concern. You know? Unless, unless, unless fucking uh, Jacob lets him hit him like eight times in the head with a fucking chair. You know? Yeah, like, he right. just, like he just goes out with a bang, you know? Like, damn, you know? Literal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, interesting. Fucking, interesting. But who knows? Yeah, who knows? Because yeah, you're right, it could kill Jacob. His momentum. It's it, not it, done right. That. Yeah, but yeah, then again, you, who knows? Maybe the whole time they were bringing in Jacob to put Jay over. Yeah. You never know. You never uh, know. Next topic, though. You know, we were talking about this with the tag teams earlier. Um. You know how we get tag teams nowadays where we're not invested because we know they're going to split up. And speaking of dismantled truth, so uh, the Miz already turned on our truth. Um, I you know I don't I don't really know how to feel about that. Um, I, I'm I'm not I'm not loving. Obviously, we talked about it. I'm not loving that we already broke up a tag team. Um. Uh, but um, I do see that they're doing, you know, they're they're bringing this storyline to bring the final testament up, and they're using the Wyatt Six in some way or shape or form. Uh, we don't know about yet. And I'm all for bringing the final testament up, right? Carrying Cross, most importantly, AOP, right? So that could be a benefit. Um, also, what if what if we uh, what if we get Truth turned into a a serious hard truth again? coming out the stands doing this you know like when he used to come out with the bulletproof vest and you know start rapping and be like what's up you know instead of playing the airhead you know right. um that'd be cool uh, in my opinion what, uh, what you think about that uh jt uh i think uh that the turn like breaking them up i don't think it benefited either of them because both of them are at the point of their career where neither one of them are probably going to ever be in the main event again. Like, at least, like, you know, they could have given them that run as a tag team for a lot longer than they did, at least. And uh, me personally, I love R-Truth as, like, you know, like that goofy, like, out-of-line type of character. I... They could make him serious again, but he's so he's probably the one of the funniest wrestlers I've ever seen and uh one of the best at, you know, portraying a comedy character. So honestly, I don't know. Like uh if they do it right, I don't think they should do the exact same gimmick he had before. Maybe, you know, change it up a little bit. But uh yeah, I don't think that turn benefited either uh the Miz or R Truth. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Iceberg, what you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, um, they're both uh, getting up there in age, um, especially our truth. Um, I think they're both hilarious. I think their characters are unmatched. I mean, the Miz is always going to be the Miz. Our truth is always going to be our truth. So you can always throw them in there. What I mean by that is, you know, you can always throw them in there. They're always going to have a good, um, you know, promo. Uh, but yeah, I guess I would just struggle to put like put them storyline wise. What do we get out of them? Um, you know, so you know, and and um, 
under on that note of I'm not sure what we're getting out of this storyline wise. You know, obviously they're 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 formulating something with the final testament and the Wyatt Six. Now my thing about that is um and this is this is our next topic is um what's going on with American made in that aspect then? So we just have a short feud with American made and Wyatt Six and we just move on. Or are we just going to, or, or, you know, what are they going to bounce back between these three factions or, you know, uh, like, how does that benefit them? And if they are moving on from American made, are they going to go wayside or is there some sort of plan with American made? Can the American made be the gold standard? Can they all hold gold? Can they be that faction for some time, uh, you know, do we see that that happening for them or not? Uh, Iceberg, what you think? Yeah, you know, I, I I think those guys are super talented. Um, and 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 yeah, that was weird with the YH six. Um, you know, but um, I I I think that uh, there's just so much talent, and um, I don't think those guys are cutting it in terms of just. Uh, but they're great. Like I said, I don't want, I'm not shitting on them. I just feel like so much talent We're you know, there's only so many storylines we could tell here so much TV time we could tell. I feel like, I feel like I barely get to see them. You know, they're not really pushing them. Um, and even the Wyatt six, they kind of cooled off a little bit. Right. I mean, in yeah. my opinion, they, they, yeah. they kind of came in hot and, they, and, and now they're a little cooled off. Um, so I'm I'm curious to see what they do with them because obviously all those guys great talent wise, and they're all pretty much over obviously. But man, if you don't use it, you lose it. You know what I mean. And if they don't get these guys going in a in a meaningful storyline, I mean, man. You know, and sure. honestly, honestly, it's like the thing about the the American Made thing is they're over as hell. First of all, Jed Gable is over as hell, right? People want him to win that title. So maybe he does. Maybe he faces Braun after this whole Jey Uso thing. And maybe that's why they're cooling him off. They don't want to burn him out before he's ready. Maybe they're just like, okay, let's cool him off for a sec. Let's put the Wyatt Six in the Final Testament, help the Final Testament. Then we'll bring him back around. So like, you know, and, and that could work. And then at the same time, then you can use the Creed Brothers and AOP. You right. know, so maybe there is a master plan here. Yeah. Uh, but personally, I'd like to see them hold the gold. Um, obviously, maybe not Ivy Nile. She might not hold the gold because, I mean, she's not in the league of, of Rhea, Rip, uh, Rhea Ripley and, and Liv Morgan and such right now. Um, and there's no reason to put them in that story. But if we could have all the guys holding the gold, the tag teams in the Intercontinental, um, you know, that I think that would be really good for them. Um, uh, JT, what you think about all this? Me personally, I like uh, like American Made, especially uh, Chad Gable. Uh, I think he is extremely underrated, especially when it comes to his in ring ring work. And I think he does, you know, put on a very solid promo too. I think they should have put the put the IC title on him uh, like a while ago, and I think like he's only like you know going down and down on the card because uh, they he had the opportunity they had the opportunity to put the title on him but they never did. So uh, I want to see what they do with American Made and like uh, give him like you know like a really good push. Yeah, and they're 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 that packaged gimmick, right? And they all got brand new uh last week they got brand new uh matching attires and everything. I don't feel like they're done with them yet. I've and I but the thing is I kinda oh man, I kind of I have this like fear that they are and I really hope they don't waste them, you know. I think it'd be a great matchup, uh uh, uh Braun and uh you know for Gable. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd I, be a good matchup. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that'd be really uh good. As a matter of fact, honestly, if 
by the time we get to Mania, we could see Perk Gable defeat Braun and the Creed Brothers, take the tag gold in one night, and American Made hold them up together. You know, that I mean, that'd be. I mean, that'd be huge for them. I don't know, that'd man. Be, that'd, be, that'd be a big push. Work. That's how I would book it, baby. <laughs> you know? that'd, that'd be a big push. That'd be a big push. Yeah, I think they got it, man. They're good wrestlers, all of them, and they, where, and they where, got a gimmick, and they're over. Where do you see this Wyatt Six at, though? I mean, and, 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 and well, uh, right? And, and yeah, exactly. where well, have they been? Well, I haven't I, really heard anything. For for one, let me finish my thought on American Made. If they can do that book into WrestleMania and the three take the gold, that push can also help bring Ivy Nile up to a better tier. So that's a twofold booking right there benefits. True. Now, as for why it's six, that's what I'm saying. They've been completely gone. Now, again, it seemed like this is why I think that's why they're doing this with American Made because it seemed like they put them on this on the back burner, but they didn't forget about them. Here they are again. I feel like they're simmering, you know. They just keep the people stewing and stirring until it's time for them to really say, "Ooh, we got the one for them," you know. Hey, hey hot take. I watched. Uh, is it Captain Howdy? Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy. I watched. Uncle Howdy, which is um, I can't think of his name. What's his name? Bo Orlando. Dallas. Bo Dallas. I watched his Monday night debut a couple of, well, it's been a while now, a couple months, like a month ago, two months ago. Um, it, it, it wasn't all that, man. It was a little ring rust. There was a little ring rust in that. Yeah, so, they did. Uh, they did some wrestling and in. And and then they just disappeared. But I mean, they're doing those videos packages over the Testament and uh, uh, Miz now. So I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm you know, it's I mean, a big, but I'm big glad that, I'm glad that I, of all this, one one thing that I am glad is they're clearly pushing the final testament, which is what I asked for last podcast. So I'll take it as a silver lining, you know. Uh, speaking of acknowledging factions, acknowledge who are we, uh, what are we seeing happening with the bloodline at this point? Like you said, Jey Uso looks like he's going to end up getting pulled back in. Um, how do you see this playing out in the future? What, 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 what would you book this as? What would you uh if you were if you were gambling on this, how do you see it playing out, Iceberg? Oh well this one's tough because you got so many moving parts. Um I mean, hell, I could see like we said, Jay versus Jacob. Um I could see Roman. I I, I kind of feel like would you are we going to see – it's just a matter of when we're going to see Roman versus uh, <laughs> Piccola, you know? Um, and what's, I don't know, you know. What's, I, what, I, what's going on with these tag titles out here, you know? Like, yeah. Why are we sitting on these as hostage, bro? Because none of these guys have stakes with them. And obviously yeah. we talked about that division on SmackDown really excelling. Somebody's got to take these off these guys. Um, yeah. Now, if it was the Tama, if it was the Gorillas of Destiny, uh, you know, then I could see any of those teams taking them off them. But but having Jacob with it too, <sighs> it kind of makes it hard to see where they're coming off of, unless they're gonna reunite the Usos, and that would make sense. But I don't mm. really want to see that. I really like the idea of Jay having a one-on-one -on -one with Jacob and then spinning out again into, into a, a world yeah. title picture. Yeah. So how, do, how do we get rid of these titles? Cause I don't think, first of all, these tag titles with them right now, they need to go. They need to get back in that, into that, uh, that, uh, tag division in my back, opinion. back in the circulation, right? Yeah, they're they're, they're the holding it. But how are you going to do that with that bloodline dominance thing? Right. Um, so, they need to figure that out for sure because I don't like them on them right now. Maybe, you know, like I said, maybe down the line, I, I don't know. Maybe we see uh, 
you know, Jimmy and, and, and Roman's side just come in and, and make them lose them. Like, fuck you. Yeah, you that's know? what I was thinking. Uh, you know, someone, you know, costing the title and then it gives back to that division. And then it's just like that bloodline civil war. Right. Yeah. And, I, and just, I have just, a feeling. Oh, oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, like you said, you know, with the Bron. They don't need that intercontinental title over there. That 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 grudge match is going to sell itself. Ron Ron can use it. Get them titles out for somebody who can use it. You know. Yeah, you're you're right. You're right. Get those tag titles out there. Yeah. Um. And 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 the Rock shows up. It's like, are we going to see the Rock and Roman? Because remember, that was the original script until it was you know right. we want Cody. Right. Um. So he comes back. Yeah. Who's you know, he siding with? Huh. Who's he siding with? Yeah, exactly. You know, and and Cody, we all know that the Rock and Cody got something going on, obviously, right? So, so then you have, um, but then you also have this Kevin Owens, Randy Orton. They kind of, they kind of gave Randy Orton and Kevin Owens the the feud, even though Kevin Owens is the one that beat the shit out of Cody. <laughs> we kind of turned that into like Randy's going to stick up for Cody, right? So I think that's taken care of with that. And then, um, yeah, so, man, I, I can't call it. I mean, and, and and the reason why I can't call it is because I feel like they're going to do what they did last year, and they're just going to feel it out. They're going to just feel it out. They're just going to throw little things out there, get the fan reaction, go to social media, see what's going on. I think it's going to be a fluid situation. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Me – what I think is going to happen is that they're going to, uh, like, everyone's going to, you know, like, fight or whatever. And then I think they're going to settle at Survivor Series War Games. They're going to do, like, the, the OG bloodline versus the new bloodline. And I think that's how that's going to happen. And then I think The Rock is going to come out. And then, like, maybe, like, like they're going to have that reaction where, like, Whose side is he on? And then, like, let's say uh, he gives, like, at the end of the match, he gives, like, Roman, like, a rock bottom or whatever, and then the new bloodline wins that. And then that sets better up yet. the feud between the rock and Roman at WrestleMania. Well, better yet. That was nice. Better yet. Who is going to be – okay, so you got – if we do Civil War, war games, right, you got Solo, Jacob, Tama – and uh, Tonga, that's four. You got Roman, you got Jimmy. Let's say Jay helps him out. You got Jay yeah. as three. Who's number four, right? Now, uh, Sammy. Sammy Zayn, only, nah. only person I can think of. Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. Nah. I think Sammy's done. That's a good and, one. But unless, no. they, unless they bring in another member of the family. No. The I'm going to tell, tell you what I think. And it's going based off of kind of what you were saying. I think number four is going to be Cody. And then this is what's going to happen. Okay. The rock's going to come out and he's going to fucking rock bottom Cody. And then he's going to rock bottom Roman. And it's going to be a triple threat at mania. Or that's great too. I like that. Or they could just, I wouldn't hate the idea, but the only thing about that is it just looks better having the rock versus Roman at WrestleMania than like a triple threat. But I think it would probably be a better match or, or, if they had the three because on, it would, on, you know, hold on. I got one. I got Jerry, one. So you got one. Hold on. So, so <laughs> I like what going off of what Jack said, it'll be four on four. Cody will be in there. The rock will come out and he's going to, you reunite the old and the new and say, I'm your fucking tribal chief. And they're all going to beat the shit out of Cody Ooh. because, Don't. and that'll be a brutal one. And then look at that faction right there, bro. It'll be so deep. How do you fucking even fight that? Better yet. Because I think that'll be a terrible. Well, maybe the Rock's the fourth member of Roman's <laughs> team, and he turns on him. No, that could be another thing too. No, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> They're going to have the four v four. The Rock is going to come out and step to Cody, but hit Roman, 
and Cody's going to try and help Roman because that's in his nature. Yeah. And Kevin Owens is going to come out and fuck Cody up. And then Randy Orton is going to come out to help Cody and turn on him. Are you doing too much? Come on now. Bro, uh, maybe Randy <laughs> Orton coming out, but Kevin Owens, like either one or the other. That's just that sounds like one giant mess. So All right, maybe, maybe they have maybe, to maybe, really do that down. very good. Then they play Randy Orton. I tell you what, Rock comes out and turns baby face. Fucks oh, everybody up. <laughs> All right, so basically we have no idea. Yeah. Uh, and any of these <laughs> options would be great. And yeah. um, the, I think you're right, though. They're, 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 I think the reason none of us can figure this out is because they are playing it by ear. Like yeah. you said. The one thing I love about the storyline, though, is that although you have your ideas of what might happen, like we don't, you know, it's not like super predictable. Like we know exactly what's going to happen. Like a lot of like storylines are like, this is like, it brings out like that, you know, that real feel like when you're a kid, right. like you don't know what's right, like, going to happen. And that's, that's kind of something we lost since, you know, the internet and all the new era, we kind of know everything. And it's like, this kind of brought it back to like, Ooh, I don't know what's going to happen. So that's really good. But you know what? Speaking of, I do think, that it's going to be Randy Orton to come out and help but turn on Cody at Survivor Series. And here's why, because now that I'm thinking about it, our next topic is Crown Jewel Champions. And personally, I think they're not going to let this be a clean win. They're going to have KO come out and attack Cody at Crown Jewel because Cody, Cody's the guy to win, but they don't want to deflate Gunther. And I think KO is going to attack Cody at Crown Jewel and make Gunther win. Um, and then that's going to do a feud with Cody into Survivor Series. And then at Survivor Series, that's when you get the RKO feud going. I tell you what, man. Don't be surprised if fucking Cody doesn't have a long ass run like like Roman. He's gonna. He's gonna. Or I'm saying. I'm saying he might lose that belt sooner than we think. Yeah, he might, especially with KO and RKO. Hey, and he's Barack not doing and so Roman well. And I mean, hey, he's, he's got a lot of fucking enemies, dude. His hey, and his and his numbers aren't doing so well, man. I don't his, know about he's that. Not, he's, he's, he's not selling still up there. Hey, no, I, I heard the ratings on, on when he's on. It, 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 it's it's don't get me wrong. He's he's in there with some high rolling players, man. But I'm Cody's not. Cody's I a think boring, he's, he's a better better champion. at chasing the title than carrying it. Yeah, he's he's a boring champion, man. And that's and I've been hearing that a lot. That's not just me running my mouth. There's some numbers to back that up. I think that's just how like babyface champions are. Like, no, uh, but here's the thing: they're just like, the oh, I'm this goody two shoes holding the title. Like, but here's here's the thing, though. You guys got to mm -hmm. remember is a big, a big part of where the WWE decides to make booking decisions comes from the merch. Okay, uh, that's a reason you know why you know LA Knight. Um, they wait, even though he was over like Grover in the crowd, they didn't push him until his he hit the top sales of merch. Now, I'm looking. It at works both ways, though. I'm I'm, t I'm looking at the top sales right now of 2024. Okay, number one, Cody Rhodes in merchandise, highest merchandise. Number two, CM Punk. Number three, Jey Uso. Number four, Roman Reigns. Number five, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay, but. Oh, oh wait! Stone Cold Steve Austin. That he's oh, still, yeah. he's oh, still yeah. selling merch. <laughs> yeah. He's still selling merch. Yeah, so he's, he's the goat. But <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, but what I'm trying to say though is that you put a belt on any of the other previous four that you named, they go number one. So it works both ways. Sometimes you put the belt on somebody that you want to propel. You yeah, know what some, I mean? Yeah, but that's the thing is sometimes I think. You put the belt on someone who the guy who's performing number one doesn't need that belt. 
you put the belt on the guy who's performing number five to make him number one, in my opinion. That's what I mean is you put the belt that's, you know what I mean, who's who, – you could put the belt on any of them top five and they'd be number one because they right. make the circuits more. But that's what I'm saying. So you're saying he's he, he rates number five in TV, but he's selling number one. Then I would keep the belt on him, keep that merch sales coming no, up. No, I'm saying if he, I'm saying if he's number one, mm. it doesn't mean anything because anybody with that belt mm. will be number one. I don't know about that. No, know. not everybody, we'll but the names we'll you see. guys missed yelled like like if if Jay Uso fucking if Jay Uso won the because I don't heavy, I don't want heavyweight title. He, he I don't, don't want to I don't want to see and I don't see it applicable to see Jay Uso with that title and why not though? I guess they you do miss- Roman, but the thing is, unless it's a triple threat, you're missing out on that rock thing again. Um. I tell you, the fucking Rock might take the belt off fucking Cody, man. That I tell happen. you, this guy's a heel like a motherfucker. Even if it was for a weekend, and he had a, he gave it right back. What I'm trying to I say, I mean, is what they shoot. could do, they could have, uh, they could set up the Rock versus Cody at the Royal Rumble and uh, and have the Rock take the title off of Cody, like, and then, they, and then they they can make it, uh, yeah, and they can. Make it like that. Uh, the rock Cody will take it right back. The title. Cody will yeah. take it right back. I'm just saying, don't don't be shocked I, I, if Cody I'd be okay drops if the that's belt. How it is. That's what, if they bounce it around like that. I'm yeah. Know, that's what I'm saying. Don't, Cody don't to me. Rock, Rock to Roman, Cody, Cody and yeah. Roman part two. Uh, RKO turns on Cody. That's don't be shocked. The belt. I mean, don't be shocked. He drops the belt to one of these guys out of nowhere. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Okay, next topic though, Crown Jewel Champions. First off, that championship belt. What do y'all think about the belt, Iceberg? It looked pretty dope. Um, I liked it. Um it was, it was pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they make these belts pretty fancy every once in a while, you know what I mean? But they really look like they they really look like they uh put some money into this belt, man, for the uh the hijabs out there. In the, uh, yeah, <laughs> and you know, and you know, you know, um, they that's another thing is since Triple H take, took over, is the belts are looking good, dude. Yeah, the belts are yeah. looking real nice. What do you think about this uh title? Like, uh, obviously, it's like a once in a year king of the ring type thing, which was also out there uh, in the Saudi uh circuit. Um, so I mean, do you see them carrying this belt around for a year? Uh, yeah. You know, is it a good idea? Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's something else to flaunt. Um, you know, people do carry around that briefcase all fucking year until they fucking cash in. Um, That's true. You know, uh, my thing is, is the guy has the belt the one time the next year. He has to put that belt on online. Does it like guarantee him a match? At right, the next like Crown yeah, Jewel. Yeah, it's supposed to be champion versus champion. So what do they get to carry it around for a year and then they have to relinquish it? Right, right. That's what I would be confused. And then on. at that point, then do we see him carrying it around all year, yeah. or do we see him carrying it around for a couple months and it disappears? It's like, can you lose that belt before Crown Jewel? Is that belt going to be on the line at any point mm-hmm. after? What if every year after it's a triple threat? <laughs> Crown jewel holder. No, I'm doing too much. Holder. You know, it, it's, I mean, <laughs> or maybe not every year, but it, it basically if the champion changes and, and he's the guy who won the belts, no longer champion next year, you're going to have to, right. Or you relinquish it. It's kind of weird, but, uh, that is weird. No, I get what you're saying with the triple threat. Yeah, like what if he's not the champion by the time it comes? And uh but it's like he won last year and he's got that belt. It's like technically that's his ticket in. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? So it's kind of interesting. Know. Yeah, that, yeah, that is interesting. Oh uh, well as far as this year's matchup, who do you who do you got? Uh any uh any odds? You got uh, Cody or you got Gunther Iceberg? I got Cody. Or 
I could see Gunther winning too, either. To be honest with you, like maybe that is the match I'm thinking that Cody will drop because he won't lose the title. He'll just lose the the crown jewel, right? So yeah. so maybe that is the one he that he's allowed to lose. I mean, even Roman got pinned one time in a tag team while you know while he was right. doing his so maybe that's the time uh I'm thinking Cody ends up taking an L. Because Gunther's a beast. Right. And I think that's kind of like a heel belt. That's like a heel prop, you know. The, like yeah. you said, it's an item to flaunt. And then I feel like that just screams Gunther's name to just you know, I you know. Yeah, uh, and they might they might like to see an American lose in Saudi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no, it's true. It's true. Yeah. You know, everybody knows it. What do you, right. what do you think, JT? Uh I think the belt design looks nice, but uh, I think this is one of those like pointless champions. I think it's going to be just a one-off, like kind of like when Braun Strowman won the greatest Royal Rumble back in Saudi. Like, like yeah. he still hasn't defended that title. He's been holding it since 2018. Like, uh, what are they going to do with this? Is I think it's just going to be a one-off. I think it's in my opinion, just something to sell seats in Saudi, pretty much. I don't think they're going to really do anything with it other than the match. And then well, the thing that's Gunther weird, is going to brag for a couple weeks when he wins from Cody, which I know he's going to win. I, I got him winning this one. You know, the thing that's weird, though, about this one, though, uh, like you said, is, you know, that Royal Rumble is more like a trophy or whatever. This is a, this is a big invested championship that they clearly paid them – because they want them walking around with this championship all the time. That had to have been part of the deal. Like, here, run this crown jewel belt all the time to promote the Saudi Arabia shows, right? So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the terms are, but... Maybe um, not all the time, but for a couple weeks, probably. Maybe like a month or two. I don't two, know. With the amount of money they put into that belt, I'm pretty sure they're going to ask for a longer time. The, the Saudis got money up their ass like they don't they don't care they're just throwing money at wwe we like so they can have shows there and maybe but what do you do who do you think is going to be the winner uh gunther i think he's I, I don't there's no question about it there's no way cody's winning i don't think he's gonna beat gunther uh gunther they gotta you know in my opinion cody already has it they're get they're building Gunther up to be uh, one of the biggest stars. Uh, it's only a matter of the time and place. He's already has the world heavyweight title. I think he's going to be a top two, three star within the next year or so. Yeah, I think so too. Now uh, on to the next topic. Now we only got a few more uh, things to talk about. Okay. We got two more mid card topics. Then we go into our main event. Okay. Now, these next topics are going to be a little bit uh, controversial. All right. So, first off, did the Beast beat the Oz? And I think you know who I'm talking about, Brock Lesnar. All right. Now, he was cleared in that court case with uh, uh, Vince McMahon. And I have noticed a quite a few Brock Lesnar references lately. And to me, that tells me they're testing the water with the audience. And when those references were made, the pops were large. So do we see Brock Lesnar back in the WWE anytime soon? Iceberg. Uh, yeah, anytime soon, I'm not positive, but, uh, coming back for sure. Um, I don't know the timeline on it. Um, I know when they do bring him back, he, he, he's going to be a big deal. Right. So, um, you know, he's going to be thrusted into the top spot right away. Um, there's a lot of new matchups. I'd love to see him fight. Right. Him and Jacob. Um, you know, he's going to have a run in with all them. Um, does he come back with, uh, with Paul Heyman? Does he, does, does, does Paul Heyman come back with, with the bloodline with a wise man? Who knows? I definitely think Brock is definitely could come back at any time. Um, 
and uh, he'll get a big pop. He'll get a good reception because it'll be shocking. And then, uh, but but also, uh, I just don't know how soon that is, though. Uh, maybe he'll be uh, an honorary member of uh, the old bloodline for no reason. <laughs> I doubt yeah, that. The, <laughs> that'd be no, shit. Maybe, that would... Ooh, maybe it's not Cody that helps the fucking OTC. Maybe it's Brock because the wise man comes in with his ass. And it's like, ah. Damn, you, you get a saying? fucking Brock and Roman tag team and they just run the division real quick. Oh my God. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Holy that fuck. would be. I mean, <laughs> with the I've seen movie. crazier things in WWE and <laughs> it would get a pop, honestly. So I guess we'll see. You'll we'll see what happens. Like, and then, like and then said, we this... get Rock and Rock. We get the what? Rock and oh. Rock. What if oh, fucking. The Rock comes out and fucking Brock Lesnar picks Roman up and starts at five and I'm all over the fucking place. Yeah, or maybe he puts the all the old, position. maybe he puts all the new Bloodline members on his uh on his shoulder and he f fives them all at once. You're doing too much. <laughs> I mean, you think he just <laughs> comes in? Hey, you think he just comes in and just fucking buries everybody? Like everybody? Ooh. Like he just buries everybody? You know, I don't know, man. That's why I say, man, like, I don't know how soon he'll come Maybe in. Maybe he just comes in, rips the cage open, and then beats the shit out of everyone. Oh, man. Interesting. 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 Uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready for it, to be honest. But <laughs> speaking of Brock and the odds, um, does anybody see this Mr. McMahon documentary? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I watched it. I, I watched some of it. There's no new there's no new information in it. Everything I ever saw saw in there I've seen before. Yeah. So no yeah, I agree. I was expecting a, a lot more like some new dirt or something. But it was something, you know, we already knew. We knew this information. It was just, you know, talking about it again. So it was good. It was a good watch, but it wasn't anything new that I learned from the documentary. The yeah. one thing I liked about it, okay, because and, and, and here's the thing, it's interesting, it's okay this, the, the reason you didn't find anything new is because it, you know, it was it was Vince led, right? And it was when Vince was back after he made his, he came back right before, and, and, and you know so, as they're filming before they even really even get to press Vince a lot, that whole thing with Janelle uh, Grant or whatever uh, happened. And, and so a couple things I like about it is one, they didn't turn it into a hit piece. They kept, they kept their original objective um, Two is it's interesting to see knowing that knowledge, his responses. And it's interesting to see how much he's lying through his teeth and, and full of himself and this and that. It's interesting to see that perspective. Um, and most importantly, because it's in between where he was kicked out and then came back and then left and kicked out again. So you could see certain people, you know, a lot of people were like, I don't want to say nothing, but a lot of people were like, you know, I'm going to say something and I'm going to talk bad about him. Fuck it. You know, you could see those shifting tides in that time in history already showing where people were like, we don't even want him back. Why is he back type attitude? And that's cool to see. That's what I liked about the documentary is yeah. putting in that that uh, retro perspective. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I, you know, to my opinion, man, it didn't change my opinion on Vince. You know, Vince was, you know, yeah, he, he's a... Uh, he was like the, one of the greatest showmen of all time, greatest promoters of all time. He's up there with Barnum and Bailey. Yeah. Um, I mean, he fails at everything else but wrestling, but who the fuck cares, right? Um, <laughs> right. Uh, you know, he, I, I forgot he did the Muhammad Ali and the, um, the Jap uh, Japanese star over there. Um, that was a closed circuit event. Uh, you know, and then also... Listen, he's a powerful guy with powerful money, you know, with a lot of money at the time, and he's a freak, right? I mean, he's a, he's, you know, he's a freak. So, 
Um, he did some things that were wrong yeah. that were frowned upon that, that, that people, you know, and people with that type of power do. I mean, we're seeing it come in the forefront. He's not the only one that did it. They thought yeah. they can get away with shit like that back then. Um, and the only reason why he got caught is because he stopped paying the money to these people. So right. this has been going on for a long time. Um, I, st- I, I, Hey, listen, he's the greatest um, heel of all time. Um, you know, it's Vince McMahon. He, he, you know, he survived the Monday Night Wars. Um, you know, uh, you got to remember, he was a self he, he, he paid more money for sex than he did uh, WCW. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the cost of living, man. You know, this guy fucking, you know, was a self-made billionaire. And he had to go up against a conglomerate, you know, the whole Turner Broadcasting fucking yeah. station. Well, you know, yeah, and he had, had people wanting him dead because he took over all the territory. I was going to say, not only that, that the global phenomenon in uh, WWF at the time. Yeah, Without so he, Mr. Man, we wouldn't have what we have now with WWE and then, like, all the other companies and stuff like that. Like, yeah. but you got to so say, he, like, he definitely he, went up and took the took on the 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 the, the conglomerate that is the um, territories, and then he went on and he took on the conglomerate that is Turner, and then he you know he just keeps he doesn't um, you know like they said it a lot, uh, and that's the thing is Vince sees competition and decides he's gonna kill it and eat it. He's a great competitor. Um, you know, but he hates to compete. Yeah, he just smashes the competition, you know. And and so, here's another thing too with him. Um, you know, I always got a creepy feeling from him, right? Like he's got when when they were telling his backstories about you know him living in the trailer and his mom sexually abusing him, and then and then you and then you see what type of freak he, he is now with all the indictments and shit like that. And then you have uh, his weird storylines. Um, and, and it just, it just, it's, I always, he I just like, has a really, really weird sense of humor too. Like, yeah, he does. He's a, he, yeah, he has, yeah. he's a real sick. He has like the sense of humor of like a, like a teenage boy. Like, who yeah. just hit puberty. That's his sense of humor when it comes to his storylines and everything. Well, he says he was sexually assaulted from his mother. Yeah, and that happens to abuse victims. They stop growing up. They stop entering. Yeah, usually it's from whenever they had that trauma, they get stuck at that age, that mental time frame. But um, yeah, he's you know, and, and you know, hypersexual too. You know, that's another thing. You know, when you're fucking, you know, touched as a kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, you know, it's wrestling, man. I mean, it's this. There's so much lore behind it, and yeah. and it's and it's just that's what makes you know, it's a car. It's it's like a fucking traveling show, man. It's a carnival, man. It's fucking creepy. It's weird. You don't know a lot of things. We still don't know a lot about Vince McMahon. Yeah, you know very what I mean? eerie, very, very eerie, very secretive, very uh, just like, like you said, you know, think of a carny. Like, you don't know shit about yeah. these guys. You don't know if yeah, his, his whole life or... is the WWE <laughs> plus <laughs> all of his freaky shit that he does behind the scenes. Yeah, it's like it's puts the lotions in the, you know. <laughs> like, when is the last time you think, other than probably now, because he has a lot of time on his hands, when was the last time you think he actually sat down and watched, like, a movie or something that's not right. WWE uh, related. Right. Like that like dude is, he you know, pretty fucked. He's fucked up, but uh, he's one of the hardest working people. Like, cause he lives and breathes WWE. Cause that's all he wants to do. He wants to, he didn't even, I know he didn't even want to sell WWE. He only he sold know. it cause some shit came out. And you know the most normal one there was Linda McMahon. I mean, I'm just that, that's she's like For real. she was always the most normal, and she actually looks younger 
but not like Vince where fucking he looks like a fucking he's wearing a Halloween mask, you know? I mean, fucking guy is looks like shit, man. All uh, them steroids. That, I was gonna say that's what the steroids do to you. Yeah. Because he was to be swole, man. He was swole as hell. And then now he's, you know, he, he looks like an old man. And he I remember seeing him. Yeah. I remember seeing him one day. I felt like he was normal. And then if, and then I guess he went away for a little bit. And he came back and he was like completely different. He Bro, fucking when he came couldn't... back for that, that first like eight months, nine months he was gone. He yeah. just totally w- transformed into the villain, the, the, the mega villain. He was like. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, well, he turned into like a bag of bones. Is like, what are you doing? He yeah, working. Holy, holy shit, yeah. man! Got off the juice. Got too yeah. old to take the juice. So it was. Well, he had a bunch of surgeries uh, at that time too. So, but you know, speaking of uh, hellacious uh, 